All right, for problem number 16, they want us to find the slope and the y-intercept of this graph. So let's start with the y-intercept actually, okay? So the y-intercept, the word intercept means to touch. So where does this graph touch the y-axis? So here's the y-axis. Where does the graph touch it? It touches it at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the y-intercept is seven. That's where it touches. Okay, so when we look at our answer choices here, A, B, C, or D, we know that it has to either be A or B because they're the only ones that have a seven. So let's just get rid of these right now. It's either going to be A or B. So now we want to find the slope. Slope is rise over run. Okay, so let's see what our rise over run is here. So we've got a point right here. We've got another point right here. So rise is how far up or down you have to go to get from this point to this point. So to get from here to here, we have to go down. So we go down one, two, three. So we're going down three. If it's down, we write a negative. And how far did we have to go down? Three. So the rise is negative three. And then the run is how far over to the right you have to go before you get to the point. So how far do we have to go to the right? Let's see. Where do we go? One, two, three, four. So we had to go over four. So our rise over run to get from this point to this point, we had to go down three, and we had to go over to the right four. So our slope is negative three-fourths. Well, I guess it's B. Very good.